our job at the commission is to make sure that all 27 million Texans are confident in how the energy industry operates. So that if there's a well near your property or a pipeline through your community or a mining operation down the street, that even though you may not love that that's there, I feel comfortable that it's done safely. So a big part of that is us engaging, is us talking to people about the way the commission operates, what our priorities are, what our staff looks like, what capabilities we have. And all over the place, people are just fascinated because they know that oil and gas and, and energy as a broad industry are the, is the biggest segment of our economy. And they're all curious about how does it run and how do we know it's safe and who manages it. And they, they love to talk about those things. And it's, a, it's really neat to get out there and, and visit with people about that all over this state. Well, certainly this year, we've seen a lot of questions about commodity prices, because even if you're not in the oil business, you hear so much in Texas about jobs being lost or it affecting areas of our state and local economies. So people all over the place are asking, hey, what, what, what's happening with oil prices and what does that really mean? A lot of people, even if they're not in the business, have friends or family in the business. How do I know that that's OK? Well, that's where regulation comes into play. For operators, they're going to be in continuing to invest capital, you know, not just millions, but even billions of dollars into new wells or new pipelines or new, new roadways or new water mains, hiring new people, training, whatever. They want to know that we've got a good regulatory framework that is, one, good for them to do business, but two, and arguably more importantly, that gives the, the communities in the areas in which they do business confidence in what they're doing. So we play a real important role, yeah, short term, but even more long term to providing that environment for people to do business. Going to an environmental conference like that is a way of us saying, we're not scared of this. This is the world in which we live. And it's engaging a group of people that may not naturally come to us, so we go to them. And in particular, that Earth Day has a very business focus to it. And it's a great place for us to bring this combination message. We're looking at long-term economic opportunity, and it is not balanced against, but combined with this, this environmental focus that we also have. So, so it's pushing us into these arenas that you wouldn't normally see us because that's where we should be. If you look around all the states in the union, the state of Texas is doing more really research and study than any other state on the area of seismicity. And the Railroad Commission is playing a key role in that because we are the, we are the tactical or the application aspect of that research. It's one thing to understand what's happening. It's our job then to do something about it. It is very important that people understand that it's a long-term issue because we, don't, we learn very little on a day-to-day -day basis. We have to understand when does data come in? We don't control that. It's when there actually are events that occur. And then we go out and we study those and we look at historical data in that area. Um, we're looking at other states and what's happening and other policies. So that stuff takes a long time to formulate. When the legislature, for example, allocated these dollars to do this research now a year and a half ago, still today they're deploying just the new monitors. It takes that long to get this equipment in place and to start to gather the data. So it is a long process. But I think that the people of this state expect us to come to a good scientific result, not a knee-jerk reaction. So taking this methodical approach of really studying this issue is what I think we should do, even though sometimes I wish we could have answers faster. It's, it's not enough just to come up with an answer. It's got to be the right one.